A very warm welcome to all of you. Myself, Professor Nagre SS from KJ Sumaya College, Kopadgav. In this current video lecture number three, we are going to study one important topic from the chapter Electrochemical Cells. And the name of topic which we are going to study is Reversible and Irreversible Cells. So this important topic we have to study in this lecture. Before starting actual lecture, please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon in order to get the question number three. So first of all, in this lecture, we have to look towards the classification of cell, how the cell is classified. So the electrochemical cells can be classified into two types. One is reversible cells and second is a irreversible cells. Now this is a classification of these cells depending upon its working, how it works. So depending upon these are the two important classes of a cell. One is a reversible, second is a irreversible cells. Now the question arises, how we can classify these cells into these two classes? What is the basis of the classification? This classification is based upon thermodynamic conditions of reversibility. So we have to take into consideration the thermodynamic conditions of reversibility. Depending upon that, these cells are classified into these two important classes. So first of all, we must know what is meant by these thermodynamic conditions of reversibility. So next point which we have to study is thermodynamic conditions of reversibility. So there are some important thermodynamic conditions of reversibility. On the basis of that, we can classify the given cell either as a reversible or as a irreversible. So th these are the three important thermodynamic conditions. So first important condition is if acting EMF that is the cell EMF is equal to the external EMF then no current flow through the circuit and electrochemical cell reaction does not take place. So any cell having a particular EMF it is called as the cell EMF or it may be called as the acting EMF. So if this acting EMF is equal to the external EMF at that situation no current flow through the cell or through the circuit and in that case electrochemical cell reaction is absent. This is the first important thermodynamic conditions of reversibility. The second important condition is if acting EMF is a slightly greater than the external EMF, the current flows from higher to lower EMF and in electrochemical cell reaction oxidation occurs at left hand electrode and reduction occurs at right hand electrode. So this is the second number condition means if this acting EMF is a slightly greater than the external EMF in that case current flows through the circuit and in that situation oxidation and reduction reaction can be takes place at the respective electrodes. The third important condition of reversibility is if acting EMF is slightly less than the external EMF the current flows in reverse direction and in electrochemical cell reaction oxidation occurs at right hand electrode and a reduction occurs at a left hand electrode. So this is the condition number three in which if this acting EMF is slightly less than the external EMF. So in this case the current flows in a reverse direction as well as the electrochemical cell reactions can be takes place at the respective electrodes. So these are the three important thermodynamic conditions of reversibility. Depending upon that, we can classify a given cell either as a reversible or as a irreversible. Now, after knowing these thermodynamic conditions of reversibility, our next job is to know what is in by reversible and what is in by the irreversible cells. So, first of all, we are going to know what is in by reversible cells. So, the definition of this reversible cell is very simple. A cell or device which obeys thermodynamic conditions of reversibility is known as reversible cells. So it is a very simple definition means a cell or a device which obeys the thermodynamic conditions of reversibility are called as reversible cells. So those conditions which we just studied if that conditions are obeyed by a cell 
then it, it is called as the reversible sales. Now, in order to understand this concept clearly, we have to consider a simple Daniel sale. So, let us study this simple example. Consider a Daniel sale consists of copper and zinc electrodes immersed in a particular salt solution having own EMF of 1.1 volt. So, for the clarification of this concept, we consider here a Daniel sale consisting of two electrodes. One is a copper, second is a zinc, immersed in a particular salt solution. Now, in this Daniel sale, the three different type of the cases can be takes place. So, the following three cases occurs depending upon value of cell EMF and external EMF. So, depending upon that, these are three situations or three cases we have to take into consideration. So, first case in this Daniel sale is if cell EMF is equal to the external EMF, no current flow through the cell and cell reaction is absent. So, if a situation is like this, if the cell EMF or the acting EMF is exactly equal to the external EMF, no current flow because there is a no potential difference and in this case current is absent and that's why in this case the cell reaction is absent. So, this is the first case in this Daniel cell. Now, we have to look towards the second number condition. So, the second number condition is if cell EMF is greater than that of the external EMF. So, in this case, the current can be flow through the circuit and in this case, the electrochemical cell reactions can be takes place. Now, what type of cell reaction is there? So, these are the cell reactions, two type of the cell reaction is there. At the left hand electrode, it may called as the negative electrode, oxidation reaction can be takes place and at right hand electrode, which may be called as the positive electrode, the reduction reaction can be takes place. So, let us look towards these two simple reactions. So, at a LHE, oxidation can be takes place. So, the zinc electrode undergo oxidation. It gives zinc 2 plus plus 2 electrons and that's why this is a oxidation half cell reaction. On the other hand, on the right hand electrode, a reduction reaction can be takes place. Means this copper 2 plus accept the two electrons. It get converted into the neutral copper. If we add together these two half cell reactions, means oxidation half cell reaction and a reduction half cell reaction, we get here a net cell reaction, which is nothing but zinc in a solid state plus copper 2 plus, it gives zinc 2 plus plus copper. So, this is a net cell reaction if cell EMF is greater than that of the external EMF and in this case, current is flowing through the circuit. Now, after studying this second case, we have to look towards the third important case. If cell EMF is less than that of the external EMF, in this case, the current can be flow to the circuit and in this case also, cell reaction can be takes place. So, again in this case, two type of the cell reactions are there, but now in this case, the direction of flow of current is reverse as compared to the second case. So, in this case, now, oxidation occurs on right hand electrode and the reduction occurs on left hand electrode. It is exactly opposite situation to this type of the second case. So, in this case, oxidation occurs on this right hand electrode means this copper undergo oxidation. It gives copper 2 plus plus 2 electrons and the reduction occurs on left hand electrode. In this case, zinc 2 plus accept the two electrons and get converted into the zinc. If we add together these two half cell reactions, we get here net cell reaction that is copper in a solid state plus zinc 2 plus, it gives copper 2 plus plus zinc. This is called as the cell reaction second. Now, we have two different type of the net cell reaction, net cell reaction number one and net cell reaction number two. Now, if we look towards carefully towards these two cell reactions, then we get a clear cut idea that is the cell reaction 2 is exactly reverse of cell reaction 1. The cell reaction 2 is exactly opposite or exactly reverse to that of the cell reaction 1. So, the cell is called as the reversible cell. Why this cell is called as a reversible? Because the cell reaction number 2 is exactly reverse to that of the cell reaction number 1. And so, we can say that if we change the condition of EMF 
at that situation we get the reverse reaction and that's why this cell is called as the reversible cell so this is the first type of the cell reversible cell depending upon these are three important cases now after knowing this concept reversible cell we are interested now to know what is meant by the irreversible cells so first of all we have to look towards the definition a cell or device which does not obey thermodynamic conditions of reversibility is known as irreversible cells so those cell or the device which does not obey the thermodynamic conditions of reversibility are called as irreversible cells to understand this concepts clearly again we have to consider a particular daniel cell so consider a daniel cell consists of copper and zinc electrodes immersed in a solution of sulfuric acid in this case again the cell is a daniel cell but we change here the salt solution we can take here sulfuric acid so in this case also following three cases occurs depending upon value of cell emf and external emf so again the first case is if cell emf is equal to the external emf no current flows through the cell and cell reaction is absent so this is the first case which we studied in a last case also now we have to look towards now the second important case in this daniel cell the second case is if cell emf is greater than the external emf so what happens in this case also the current can flow through the circuit and a cell reaction can occur at the respective electrodes so again two type of the half cell reaction is there at left hand electrode which is a negative electrode oxidation reaction is occur and on the right hand electrode that is a positive electrode reduction reaction can occur in oxidation zinc under oxidation to give zinc 2 plus plus two electrons on the another hand on the right hand electrode reduction is occur so 2h plus from sulfuric acid accepts the two electrons from this zinc oxidation process so it get converted into a hydrogen gas so this is the reduction if we add together these two half cell reactions we get here net cell reaction that is zinc in a solid state plus 2h plus it gives the zinc 2 plus plus hydrogen gas so this is a cell reaction number first now third case is here if cell emf is less than that of the external emf in this case also a current can be flow through the circuit but in a reverse manner and a cell reaction can be takes place at a respective electrodes now in this case what happens again the reaction which is takes place is exactly reverse so now in this case oxidation occurs upon right hand side electrode and the reduction occurs upon left hand side electrode now in this case the oxidation occurs upon this right hand electrode so copper under oxidation to use the copper 2 plus plus 2 electron and reduction occurs upon left hand electrode it gives the 2h plus plus 2 electron it get converted into the hydrogen gas so these are the two half cell reactions if we add together these two half cell reactions we get here net cell reaction that is nothing but copper in a solid state plus 2h plus it gives copper 2 plus plus hydrogen gas so this is the cell reaction number 2 now if we compare cell reaction number first to that of the cell reaction number 2 we can get an idea that the cell number cell reaction number 2 is not the reverse of that of the cell number 1 the reaction 2 is not the reverse of the 1 so the cell is called as the irreversible cell so in this case these two cell reactions are not the reverse of each other and that's why in this case the cell is called as the irreversible cell so we can say that in order to determine the nature of a particular cell either reversible or irreversible we have to take into consideration three important thermodynamic conditions of reversibility depending upon that we have to check whether this cell gives the reversible cells or irreversible cells and depending upon that we can confirm their respective types so in this lecture we studied one important concept the type of a cell that is reversible and irreversible how to assign their respective classes depending upon thermodynamic conditions of reversibility i hope you 
understand very well this particular concept so with this i stop here the remaining portions from this chapter we will take in a upcoming lecture so with this i stop here thank you thank you so much